So much has grown. But there are no roots, no herbs. What are you looking at, Jonathan? The garden is in disorder. I want it to be right again, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Before I became prior, I thought the same about Kingsbridge. Well, what did you do? I cleaned up. Where do we start? For plants to take root, the soil must be loose and fertile. Oh, so we have to dig? But it's still overgrown with weeds. So what can we do? Well... Hmm. Some plants are weeds and must go before we can plant new seeds. What are weeds? They take away what the other plants need to grow. Light, water, room. What do we do? Pluck them. They look a lot like every other plant, so you need to learn how to tell them apart. Here, you see those? They're called wood sorrel. Let's pluck only those for now. I'll do it. If you insist. Make sure to pull out all of the thin roots. And now what do I do? Now we can prepare the soil. So, may I dig now? Done. What's next? Stay here. I'll be right back. Now, where did you put them? Ah, here they are. I found these nuts for you. Remember, Milius, you always said that one day there will be a beech tree growing here. I think it's about time. you bring? Do you remember Milius? A kind man with a warm smile. Well, he told me to give you this. Wow! Hmm. 
Now we just have to wait. All right. Um, how long? Too long for us to keep sitting here. Uh, that long. Some things take time. And only with patience will you receive your reward. Why do we have to do all these things if all we had to do is wait? Simply waiting would not have been enough, Jonathan. You just paved the way for things to take their course. They are happening right now. And in a few days' time, we will return and see the first green leaf of something new. Oh. Um, is it God's reward? Maybe. Does he make things grow? You made it. No, I just planted the seed. Hmm. Now you can fetch some water from the rain barrel. But that water's smelly. It's been there forever. There are many trees by the river. I bet that water's better. That's a longer walk, though. I don't mind. The distance is worth it. Maybe you're right. It is worth it. Let's walk together, then. But I'll carry the bucket. Why isn't Remedius holding the sermon? What's gotten into Philip? Our church lies in ruins. But all of this, these dire times, have revealed something important to us. Something that until, maybe until today, I wasn't aware of. What do you mean? You've been praying in these ruins. But you've been praying like you always did, in humbleness. We don't need a church for prayer. Where else are we going to pray? The chapter house? The church is where God resides. God doesn't work in the ways we might assume. Today, Jonathan tended to our garden to make it beautiful again. And he told me of things I almost had forgotten. Good and evil are not in here or out there. They are within each of us. God made us in his image. Thus, we carry the godly spark within us. But we have witnessed that man can have the devil in his heart as well. Prayer needs no special place, for we are his church. In our actions, he exists. We are God's temple. No man is closer to God than any other man. Whether you pray in church or on the streets of our towns, whether you're a man, woman, monk or bishop. Philip, look outside. You have to see them. You've got to see the horses and the colors. 
Jonathan. Now, what's going on? I'm, I heard noises and I went to look. Calm down. What happened? But the priest said they brought a miracle. Who? What? What priest? Step right up, brothers and sisters. For you are about to see something that will change your life. Who is that? They brought us a miracle. A miracle? Don't be shy. There is no danger. Just awe that awaits you here. Ah, you must be Prior Philip. I am Brother Reynold. I have been sent by the Archbishop of Canterbury. Here is his letter, in case you have reasonable doubts. We've been charged to accompany the Weeping Madonna. She is to replace the loss of your relic, Saint Adolphus the Martyr, who was taken from you, I hear, with brute force. What? On her travel from far away Africa, she has collected donations to reward Kingsbridge for your faith in her and in the Lord. I can't believe this. What is all this? You do believe. That is why she came. And that is why you shall witness her miracle for yourself today. <gasps> the weeping Madonna came to me in a faraway land named Africa. A baptized Saracen was her former guardian. And I and the custodians of the Holy Virgin were chosen to take her on a journey. Baptized? A Saracen? I knew not her powers or destination. Nevertheless, I carried her for many miles. Many bore witness to her miracle. Before it dawned upon me. Please tell us more. Of course. My words shall prepare you for the sight of the Holy Madonna. But I wondered, what shrine should be her shelter? This time, it was the Madonna herself who answered my questions. She said, You shall build me a new church in Kingsbridge. So we set off with the blessing of Archbishop Theobald of Canterbury. And along the road, from Paris, across Normandy, over the sea, and all the way to Kingsbridge. Devout Christians have given money for the building of the Church of the Weeping Madonna. Please tell us more. Of course. My words shall prepare you for the sight of the Holy Madonna. The Weeping Madonna has chosen you, all of you. I will tell you again, dear brothers and sisters. Uh, excuse me. Don't interrupt. I will tell you again, dear brothers and sisters. The Weeping Madonna has chosen you, all of you. Hey, shh. Now, brothers and sisters, I have heard that life has not been kind to Kingsbridge, but it is in places like these and in dark times like these that God's light shines brightest. 
and along the road. Over the sea and all the way to Kingsbridge. Devout Christians have given money for the building of the Church of the Weeping Madonna. This church. Tell me the truth. Why are Bridge. you here? We are guardians of the Holy Virgin that sheds tears. We were appointed by the Archbishop of Canterbury, but it was the Holy Virgin herself who chose us while she traveled through Europe. Oh, yes. How did that happen? She speaks without words. You must wonder why it was King. She said. You shall build That's me not fit a, for new a shrine. Church in and I think King's there's Bridge. someone snoring so there. Off. Strange. With the blessing of Archbishop Theobald of Canterbury. You heard me correctly. The weeping Madonna came to me in a faraway land named Africa. A baptized They Samson look almost was like guardian. horses. And I and the custodians of the Holy Virgin were chosen Hollow. to take her. Feels like a, a wicker basket covered in felt. A Saracen. And I will tell you again. She is a true miracle. Do you speak English? Da, uh, no English. Uh, no campandare. Uh, no, no, no. Hmm. Oh, what's this? I think you might have stepped into horse dung. What? Where? Uh, no English, is it? Just un poco, si. Could you talk to this man, Martha? Yes, it's strange. He was quite talkative just a moment ago. He told me he was from Damascus in Africa. Isn't Damascus in Arabia? There's one in Africa too, I I'm sure. Why are you pretending you can't speak English? No English, ah, melada, melada. Many bore Have they revealed the miracle, miracle yet? Not yet. Before it dawned upon me. You don't need to be here. If it's too loud for you. She wanted to go home. But where? Brother Reynold. I've heard of a Reynold from the coast. A scheming drunkard who lives as a traveling monk. You think that's him? Perhaps it is, perhaps it's not. I don't trust him either way. It came Jonathan. To in a dream. They're about to show the miracle. It Look! It was Kingsbridge. And I will tell you again. She is a true miracle that will change your life as she changed mine. Many I am Philip. To her miracle Who are you, young man? Before <gasps> it dawned upon me. She wanted to Don't you home. want to see the miracle too? Mm -mm. Hmm. It came to me in a dream. It was Kingsbridge. Now, brothers and sisters, I have heard that... Can you feel it? Brothers and sisters, you are about to witness a miracle. The Madonna knows how you have suffered. The Virgin Mother had to witness the rise and fall of her son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and never stopped believing. Kingsbridge has endured many hardships. Prior James left you before his time when you needed him the most. Your old cathedral was burned to the ground. How do you know this? And your new one collapsed even before construction was finished. You have suffered the ruthless destruction of your market homes and lives. Dada. All of you have lost husbands, wives and children, family and friends. Dada. All of you know how it is to be hungry and afraid. But you have kept your faith. Aliena, Philip. And the but Madonna this knows. This is a miracle, isn't it? Or something along those lines. But how? 
We thought it was time to give Tommy a home. The boy? Your boy? Well, Philip? Do you recognize him? Our little Tommy? Tommy? But... It's been almost three years since I last saw you, Jack. Where on earth did you find him? I'd almost given up looking for him. Then Tommy found him. And you decided to come back. Well, this is our home, after all. Then what on earth is all this? This miracle? With the Madonna, we were able to collect donations. For your priory and for Kingsbridge. Really? We can start anew. We can rebuild the cathedral. What's the catch? I'll get to be Master Builder. Why? I've studied the cathedrals, churches, and houses they build in France and Spain. I saw how different their constructions were, with new shapes, colors, and ideas. Oh, you should have seen it. They combined rib vaulting and pointed arches. I want to do that. That's why. Why here? Because this is home. The townspeople probably think that's enough to build a whole cathedral. But to me, it looks like about a hundred pounds. You know, that won't even pay for a year's work. Like all of this, it's a symbol. Enough for a fresh start. And the Madonna will stay here. Kingsbridge will attract visitors and donations again. You mean I should be thankful for these lies and tricks? Jack! Aliena! You came back! We wanted to see you, little sister. Well, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. But look at you! And the little one! Tommy. How are the others? Alfred left Kingsbridge. Richard shows up every now and then and Ellen returned to the forest. We need to visit her. Father lives with her now. What's wrong, Martha? I'm glad you're back. I am too. Very glad. She looks like she's about to cry. She will weep for your suffering, Kingsbridge. She knows your pain. What now? The miracle. Her eyes are wet. <gasps> her eyes. Why look at her? Ever... They're shining. She cannot hold her tears any longer. She is made of wood. It's impossible. <gasps> Why are you weeping? She is mute ever since her husband died. The Madonna has <gasps> suffered as I have. She understands. <laughs> It seems through her faith in all of your lies. Mary has found a miracle. We can't keep trying to repair Kingsbridge by ourselves. Things are not improving. We're struggling to keep things as they are. But we can't afford to hire help. Without farming and fairs, we're back to prior James's time. All these past years, my advice was good enough for you. But it appears you've changed your mind now, again. It is time we started doing something to wake up and make Kingsbridge what it used to be. We did before and we could do it again. I'm not willing to accept a risk like that. Don't you remember what happened last time? My, my. How easily we forget. I remember well. And still, you put your trust into a group of random strangers to make things better. Philip, why in God's name have you stood by and let this happen? They're tricking us into giving them money for false idols. They are giving us money. 
so that we'll place this idol in our priory? Do you approve of this? People need hope, and these travelers are giving them hope. Yes, it is a deception, but with good intentions. Mary speaks again. Is that not a true miracle? You fell for them. You really did. And now you joyfully take part in their deceptions. I'm warning you. I cannot support a prior who tolerates heresy. Your threat won't sway me. No matter how unconventional, their return and their gift are a blessing. You made your decision, Philip of Gwyneth. And now, I make mine. I resign. I'm leaving the Priory. You got so big, Tommy. <laughs> and you're just as shy as your father was. Don't let him fool you. Usually, he's always up to something. We are so proud of you. Of both of you. Is she still here? Hmm? Your wife, Agnes. No. Ellen and Martha moved her to Kingsbridge. She got a proper burial this time. Will you come back with us, too? Would you want that? Yes. I need your help with the cathedral. Philip and I have big plans. We'll come. Ellen, we found Jack's family in Cherbourg. The place he came from wasn't Cherbourg, it was Cherbourg. But... really? What were they like? They were good people. His grandmother said Jack looked just like him, like his father. He does. But they never came for him or, or asked about him. They thought he was dead, his ship sunk. He'd always wanted to go to England. Have you ever heard of the White Ship? Uh. No. The king's family drowned. My father was there. He was the only one who survived. Not for long. You told me that he was accused of stealing a chalice. Yes. But... but I know he was innocent. I heard the story and had to find out what he looked like. He told me his name. I fell in love. I helped him escape. But in the end, they caught up with us. What happened then? They hanged him. I was there. And you were there, Jack. But you weren't born yet. He was led to the gallows. Everyone was quiet. The people somehow knew he was not a thief. But I knew for sure. He told me. He was so afraid. He didn't want to die. I didn't want him to die. And I prayed. Then I heard his voice. Quiet. Met, sang sweeter than, than ever. As if the falling melody might wing and net dissever. At dusk the hunter took his prey, the lark his freedom net. No! No! <laughs> You said that three men were responsible for father's death. Who were they? The Sheriff of Shiring, Percy Hamley. 
Prior James of Kingsbridge, and Archdeacon Waleran Bygod. They showed no mercy. Neither did I. I curse you! All of you! He will return to haunt you! One day, you will be judged for what you did. Your houses shall be consumed by fire! Your life shall end in pain and agony! You shall grow old in sadness and regret! The people they killed will return to haunt them. I promised them. We welcome our new prior, Remigius. He helped to recover the bones of the saint of Kingsbridge, Adolphus, from the hands of thieves. Adolphus already rests safely in this great cathedral of Shiring. Our master builder, Alfred, promised me that it will only be a matter of a few years until the cathedral will be finished and the Earl of Shiring has promised to support us. But he has not done so for himself. No, the Earl is not a selfish man. His mother, Lady Hamley, is sick. More and more, I feel the whole of England is suffering from a sickness. The sickness of war, poverty, and most of all, heathen beliefs. I have spoken to God. I asked him, begged him to walk amongst us, to heal us. But God told me that only when this great cathedral is finished will he have a temple to reside in. No matter the cost, this shall be a towering castle to protect us from evil and false beliefs. With this cathedral, we will bring an end to the dark times. Wailer and by God. Jack, what are you doing here? My father died by your hands, Waleran. His name was Jacques Sherborg. How dare you talk to the bishop like that? He died right here. Who are you? I know that man. He's that bastard from Kingsbridge. That man is my husband. You? All of you, listen to what we have to say. From now on, Kingsbridge is protected. By our knights, by our walls, and by the word of the king. So whatever you do, we will defend our town, our market and fulling mills. And our cathedral, which we shall rebuild. All workers are invited to come and work for us. Oh, preposterous. If you so much as try to bring harm to us, Bishop, we will make sure that you pay for everything you did. <laughs> <laughs> 